Hello everybody. So I have a strong knack for Turkish music. So it was inevitable that I will bring some of it into this series. And um, I really love Anatolian rock and psychedelic music from Turkey. And uh, a lot of uh, contemporary music, particularly bands like Baba Zula or uh, the Istanbul-based singer Gaye Suakyol and so on and so on. But I thought here and now for this format let's go back to the roots and let's listen to a track by the master himself and I'm obviously talking about Erkin Koray and uh, a song from his second LP Electronic Türküler which uh, was released in 1974 this is a quite a beautiful re-release on Faraway Sounds and uh, I say we listen to the song and uh, then I will say some things about it later, maybe, if I come up with something. <laughs> so uh, let me just take out the record. On this part I probably should always cut out of the video me taking out the record and putting it on the turntable. I mean it seems to take forever. Yes, it's much better to just click on a file on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> Look how time-consuming that is. <laughs> what a stupid idea. <laughs> so um, this is a track uh, at the beginning of the B-side called Cemalim. And uh, I think this was certainly one of uh, Korai's uh, biggest hits and uh, it's quite a beautiful song. So let's give it a listen and let's immerse ourselves into the world of Anatolian rock. Come 
This was the legendary Erkin Koray, kind of the godfather of the Turkish Anatolian rock. And uh, this song was released in 1974 on his second studio album. At this point, Erkin Koray was basically running a three piece with Ahmed Güvenç on bass, and particularly on this track, Eiser Danga on drums. Certainly, what a wonderful, fuzzy guitar! And um, I really like the bass playing here. It's sort of powerful and kind of driving the song, while at the same time Erkin Koray's singing is rather soft-spoken and uh, almost a bit dreamy, almost feeling a little bit absent. So it's an interesting contrast um, and it's certainly a seminal song of this particular genre. Also I really enjoyed this kind of evocative background vocals that uh, gave uh, this song this kind of a strange otherworldly character. And um, yeah, wonderful song. I think it has been covered quite a lot uh, by Turkish bands uh, in all the years and decades after that. And um, certainly um, Electronic Türkiler is a wonderful record that uh, has beautifully preserved and documented a certain musical era that now is long gone, uh, but uh, it contains a lot of very interesting music. Um, so, uh, I hope uh, this was kind of interesting for you, a little excursion into the world of Anatolian rock. But uh, while the track was running, I thought I, sh I should make a kind of a trilogy out of it and make a series of three videos uh, that uh, exclusively deal with Turkish music, with uh, psychedelic rock of the 70s. Um, and. Uh, then move on to other pastures. Um, but uh, let me know if you like the song, let me know if you knew the song before or if you heard it for the first time and uh, what your impression was and uh, if this is a musical direction I should maybe do more or if you think I should do rather very different styles of music. Just let me know what you'd like to hear and explore with me as far as genres and styles go. And uh, 
we will see how this entire project continues. In a sense, I'm just at the beginning of this whole thing and uh, so um, honestly, I really don't know where this is going. It's just something I have to try it out kind of intuitively and uh, at this point I have no grand plan or grand tasks ahead of me. I just kind of make it up as I go, as you certainly can hear and see for yourself. So um, hope to see you next time and um, I think our next song will be by the Turkish singer Alpay and uh, stay tuned for that and uh, see you then. Bye bye. <laughs>